हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैव सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट एट अ गिवन इंस्टेंट द ट्रेन इंजन एट ई हैज़ अ स्पीड ऑफ 20 मीटर पर सेकंड राइट सो वी आर गिवन द विलासिटी मैग्नीट्यूड विच इज़ ट्वेंटी मीटर पर सेकेंड and at this particular point e the acceleration is 14 meter per second square which is shown here and it is acting in the direction shown right so this acceleration is making 75 degree with the tangential direction right so if we represent the tangential direction so this is the tangential direction as we know right and this direction towards the center of the curvature is always the normal direction right so this is our normal direction and this will last is always parallel to the tangential axis is right as we know this uh, right so it is said that determine the rate of increase in the train speed right so this means that the tangential acceleration is required and also it is said that determine the radius of the curvature right so we will find the radius of the curvature right and we are given this acceleration magnitude right so the tangential acceleration will be the component of this acceleration which will be acting along the t axis is right so if we resolve this acceleration into its components right so it will have the tangential component will be acting in this direction and the normal component of the acceleration will be will be acting along the normal axis is right so this means that this is the tangential acceleration and this is the normal acceleration right so we can say we can see that a tangential is the cos component of this acceleration right this resultant acceleration so this means that this is 14 cos of 75 degrees since this acceleration is making 75 degrees with the tangential acceleration right and similarly this an acceleration the normal component of the acceleration is 14 sin of 75 degrees and as we know that the normal acceleration is always equal to v square divided by the radius of the curvature right so this will give us the rate of increase in the speed of the train right and this from this equation we will find the radius of the curvature right so rho will be equal to v square and v is given which is 20 meter per second at that particular point e right so we will write that this is 20 square divided by rho uh, sorry divided by 14 sin of 75 degrees right so when we solve this so the tangential acceleration is 3.62 meter per second square and the radius of the curvature equals to 29.58 meters right so this is the solution of this problem